feel the hype right now. You need to understand that this car, I started with a pretty much stock SR20 kooky and just had a dream and just did it. And it's, it's ready. Oh my God, if you think this is bad, wait till this car starts. We did it. What is going on guys? Good morning and welcome to the vlog. You know what I found out about the internet, man? That you can never make everyone happy. You know, some people are going to despise this intro right now. The fact that I just bit into the sandwich. Some people are going to hate that I'm getting iced coffee. And I just put it in the intro, you know. For the people that love the extra effort, for the people that smash the like button, for the people that stay till the end. So good. So good. Sorry. Seriously, I just want to give the biggest thanks for, to the people that give all the support to this channel. You know, it blows my mind that, you know, more than 50 people message me a day and write these paragraphs that honestly took... Like, they took time out of their day to say something positive about me or the channel. And it's just crazy. So this is going to be a simple vlog day, guys. Um, I really need to get a couple things done, but you guys know that the kooky is ready to go. We're just waiting on the word from Kinetic. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go back. We're going to check some things, inspect some things, and probably run, like, two wires. I know you guys don't want to watch any more wiring, but we'll see what this day brings. So let's go back. Well, let me let me finish this sandwich real quick, and then we'll get to work on the kooky. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. So, as you guys know, um, like I said, this car was supposed to go to my friend's shop in Philadelphia. I don't really know what's going on. I guess he's too busy. It, it doesn't really matter. I just want this car done, like I said yesterday. So I found the new shop. They're gonna do my intercooler pipe. I didn't really talk to him about wiring because I've gotten so far myself, I feel I can do the rest myself because I did everything. The le only thing left is the engine harness, which I don't have to do a custom full harness. This harness worked before in the car that I got the motor from. So what I'm gonna do is basically strip down some of the harness to trace some wires to figure out things that it needs to run. So on the harness that I was talking about, this is your main ignition wire right here, this red and black. And that's also on your ignition, red and black, but it said power to body harness. But I forgot that this is actually the engine harness that plugs into the body harness. So that wire probably ran all the way through the chassis harness to this right here, which sends power to everything. This wire runs along this, merges off into other power wires, which sends power to my main coils for the spark plugs, sends power to my igniter chip, sends power to the injectors. Super sick. Like I figured all of this out by just tracing wires and like, this kooky is going to start this week. As soon as I get the gas tank in there, because I'm waiting on straps and pins I had to order because I lost mine. As soon as we can get that tank in there and my AEM fuel pump, guys, the kooky is going to run. I'm so excited. Um, turns out I actually don't need any of these, which plugs into your chassis, but I'm still going to use them because some is like the tack. I think that's all I'm going to use, actually. It's like the tachometer. All right, so I pretty much finished up with the engine harness. I got it in the car. Um, it actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. I didn't realize it was as long as it was once you unraveled it and then um, like ex not extended it, but like a bunch of the SR20 harnesses like looped and looped and taped all together. I don't know if the guy before me did that or that's how it comes, whatever. I ended up getting so much clutter out of the engine. But that's just the wires that needed to be sent to the engine. I ended up putting the igniter chip and everything in the car and it's gonna be awesome. I already have a mounting place for the igniter chip too, so super cool. All right, so here's my harness inside the car. As you can see, it was like all looped together, but that loop was like way out there in the engine bay, totally unnecessary. So as you can see, I got my igniter chip right here. There was these two little studs. Um, I literally just tapped it with a rubber mallet on there. I hope I didn't damage the igniter chip. It really went on pretty easy. 
But if the car doesn't get spark, I probably damage that and I have to get another one. But it does mount really good, really solid on there. I mean, I could pull it off, but like it's definitely going to hold in place. So that's all figured out. Uh, this wire right here is actually one of the plugs I need to send power to. So I'm trying to locate this plug. I'm just going to send this back up into there and then have it go to the ignition for the power, the power out, the red and black wire, which is supposed to be to power to body harness. And then the ECU plug right here. And this, I'm probably just gonna do the same thing, run it up here, have the ECU plugged in on a little plate right here, make sure it's not getting crazy vibrations from the firewall so we don't have any issues. And then this harness plug, if I use it, it'll be somewhere around right there too. So, yeah. I fucking love goldfish. All right, so I've been pretty much bored out of my mind like all day today. I've been kind of just reading, honestly, about wiring for the ECU. I know I seem so confident in the beginning of this video because I, I am, honestly. I'm just nervous because if I hook this ECU up and I flick power on and I fry my ECU, this car is going to be down for, honestly, could be over a month, maybe two months. I mean, a new ECU and a tune, that is expensive. So I've just been really nervous. But huge shout out to my friend Bradley Hackworth. Um, I think that just, I know his first name is Bradley. Um, he owns a shop. He's really been helping me out over Messenger. I've never met him personally, but great dude. Really helping me out with some stuff. I'm honestly feeling confident enough right now to tackle this tonight. I'm going to go ahead, wire up my ECU, which I'm going to run the main power through the relay to the ignition wire and the ECCS. And I'm going to record the first time when I flip the switch on and the, uh, the Apex um, Commander should power on, or whatever it's called, Power FC, it should power on, and my, um, I always forget what this thing is called. The little data logger. What All right, so I'm all finished up. This is the moment of truth of whether this thing starts or not. Everything, if this works, everything's done. Like, I don't have to touch a thing. I literally plug in my fuel pump with the gas tank, and it should start. That this was the last thing I had to tackle. I finally did it. I have not even plugged the battery in yet. I don't know what's gonna happen. Honestly, I'm hoping I did it right. Like I'm thinking, I've read a ton of diagrams. I talked to people that have done stuff like this before. So here we go. If everything is good, I believe this should turn on. And obviously nothing should catch on fire. Oh my goodness. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I did it! Oh my god. Oh, I'm out. Oh my god! I fucking did it! Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 yes. We are ending today's video here, guys. I need to go inside. Oh my god, I just want to tell everyone in the world. We will catch you next time. Stay tuned because the kooky is going to be starting soon. Peace, boys!